we're back for another recording there, and I just need to get myself back on track with what we were doing. So far, from what I can tell, Luce is still being blockaded by a massive fleet. We have Omri under siege, with the Raleigh having recently declared war, and, best of all, there's an opportunity here to besiege the Fulvar, I think. With my current fleet that uh, having kind of securing the other side of this wormhole. I only got me a couple of cruisers and a Hercules Beetle, but there is some serious potential to actually push out and grab the Volvar homeworld, I think. So let's get started with that, shall we? I just need to figure out what I'm lacking here, because both these are both these lightning plants are eagling. I'm guessing it's Igling. That doesn't look like an L. Igning, rather. So, we're going to have to try and get some profit there. Because it doesn't seem like it's going to be most ideal for production. So, if I can use it for the spaceport and gain some extra income, that would be good. But, don't think it's going to happen. And speaking of which, let's see what kind of food am I gaining from here. Because... I'm not noticing any food. Oh, uh, is let's see, food ex exports four, so that should, huh? Okay, I guess it's feeding themselves, maybe. Okay, then now it's finally going down a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. So, I was just wondering if they were actually getting to work finally. And for some reason, even though they're still conquered, they have core cool world pride, so that is amusing, to say the least. And Igneen 1 is even more useless to me, considering it's an ultra-poor world. That is, uh, toxic, no less, so... What the hell am I gonna do with you? Because there's maintenance penalties and all that, so... Until I get terraforming, this is... All I can really do is just get some income off it, so that's not going to be much use either. So I'm going to get started with that. I'm going to start pushing out a little bit into these systems here. I don't want to get too aggressive though. Oh, well, why the hell am I not targeting the fleet? There we go, that's much better. So we got that fleet poking out to see what we can find. We have the main fleet here on the boundary that just took out the Federation world, so... Uh, let's see, there's no no kind of infantry troops at all there, so I'm going to have to steal, grab some from CERN. Oh wait, never mind, CERN doesn't even have any infantry, they're all over at Zeta, so let me grab them from there instead. I have the infantry for it, so I can do that. Let me just correct some of this, shall I? Because I don't think I want an infantry that has only a rocket launcher, that sounds... Very stupid. Having only one shot that has like a 30 turn cooldown, I think. A oh, 4 turn cooldown, that's actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad at all, but still, there was a free slot, so... Might as well stick with that. Actually, I'll switch him to a medic. And start taking them out a little bit. Hopefully, say it should be alright. Because then once I push up here... I'm going to be able to secure that region a little bit better. And with that fleet gone, there should be like almost no defense on An Andolf. So, what else did I want to do? Ooh, I actually got some horns here. It's Queen of Savior Kular, which I just re did my video on for that, so... Where can I go to get that refitted? Because the cucks aren't really going to be doing much use there as far as refitting. So, do I want to take that to Tremedy? I probably do. So take that on the subspace way and see if this weren't to... I guess to re reinforce this fleet up here. And I'm going to need some more scouts, I think, as well. Even though I did destroy both the Fulvar and the human fleets, there's still the possibility of getting backdoored here through this magic system or this Fulvar region here, 
which it seems like they're building most of their fleet at. Or at least rendezvousing it with everyone. So that's probably the biggest risk with doing that. Oh, and I also have the cut to deal with, so... Let me check out the Tremony. Mech Factory's almost done, but... I think I want an actual explorer. To get my uh, scouts back up. No, I do not want to edit the ship. Although I'm still going to have to reconsider trying to find a use for these different type of corvettes or even frigates. Because they would be kind of handy to deal with the big threats. So I want some more explorers though. And they're relatively cheap. Only downside of course is that they cost me extra command points. But I actually have three free slots available so I can get away with it. So not a big deal because I do want to check what the cucks are up to there and I have one already in the quarter scene which hasn't really been giving me much intel as far as what the fl their fleets are doing because everything has pretty inferior tech which is silly I gotta be able to find something that's higher tech that can give me a good reference of what they're gonna be going for as far as their fleet because the Volvar was pretty consistent, they got a lot of mass drivers, kind of like the Cucks did. The Federation are doing lots of disruptors and energy cannons. And the Raleigh here have been pretty obsessed with, at least their battleships, being heavy carrier ships. So there is a consistent scene with all the races so far, and I kind of want to figure out what the quarter scene are going for as far as their fleet style. Mind you, the Raleigh have pretty primitive tech, considering they're still using, what is it, is that plastic steel or regular steel? Regular steel, so not only are they immobile, but it's like the starting armor. So they are pretty easy to dominate once I get, hopefully in theory, I should have actually checked the hard shield there, tech. See if that was effect as effective as I thought it would have been. Because yeah, it provides protection anything that does 50 damage or less, so I'm assuming that would be effective against the fighters. Because it even describes it as being very effective against uh, beam weapons and fighter weaponry, basically. Yeah, right. So I think that's everything all done that I need to do, so let's... Oh, this is a nice convenience, isn't it? I don't even need to do this, I should probably auto it. Because I didn't lose anything. No damage to the fleet. So perfectly fine with that. Ooh, and it's an ultra rich world I just realized, so that works perfectly for me. With platinum. Let's see, make sure oh, it makes credit offers, so that's like diplomacy related, so I'm probably not gonna benefit too much from the the platinum. Considering that everyone is hating me right now. Oh, and I actually have a lot of spies I just realized, so maybe I should start playing the Muse. Who do I want to spy on, though? Because the moment I start spying on the Quarter Scene, they're going to start hating me in, in incredibly quick. Especially when they start catching them. So, do I want to start spying on the humans? I probably do. Let me just check what kind of tech they have to see if it's worth it or if I could just grab it from assimilation even. No, they only got four techs that I can see, so probably want to just wait until I conquer them, with, conquer them all and just steal the tech that way. So what I can do is just keep building up spies because I seem to have a good number. Don't know the exact amount. Actually, I can't find out. Alright, I have 17 spies apparently, so... I can build it up to quite a significant number, especially as I build up my, uh... Whatever that building is called that enhances my... Spying defense and effectiveness of the spies. Where is it? I noticed one on here. Casino Intelligence Agency, okay. 
so it provides one free point espionage defense which is what they're doing right now and increases effectiveness of moles so they're pretty good for what they're doing right now so actually I'll leave them be let's see there's one planet there I just noticed it's not building I'm trying to find it so that's Igni 1 I kind of prefer just calling Lightning 1 a little bit easier so number there we'll just get the population going up there because they are going to breed pretty quickly there but I actually forget what their traits are They're, they they get double the population growth if I recall let's see yep they're industrious workers so if it wasn't for the fact that they were on ultra poor worlds that actually would be useful for me and I don't think these other traits are useful besides for their home world when I eventually get it so let's keep this going I've been talking too much let's get some let's get some results hmm speaking of which we got ourselves a really good size ultra rich world here I am kinda gonna need heavy heavy G tech to be able to get the most out of that though and I completely neglected my troops which is something I should have been doing which are still effective with the pox which is fun the last thing I need is to take extra damage in melee when they eventually get to me because I sure as hell don't really have much interest in using that so I'm gonna have to retire those troops or do something with them so that they don't the little effect does not hinder me in the long run and I'm two turns away from hard shield so let's see I'm pretty sure before as I was setting up there I think I already set up my asteroid Omri to have the battleship finish before the hard shield finishes let's see two turns so hmm just to be safe because I'm assuming the hard shield will take effect before the battle takes place but I'm just gonna have another spider as a buffer so I can prepare for that because I would like to see if that actually works because that would be the perfect opportunity to test it since I am kind of using the battle stations to kind of chip away at their army anyway so polyps are spying on me everyone's spying on me it's that's no surprise because they feel like they can get away with it whereas me as soon as I start spying on them they're gonna be infuri infuriated there's no doubt so let's see they hardly have anything here lots of heavy G worlds mind you but still hardly anything at all so that begs the question, is this the home world right here or is that the one further down? I'm assuming that's the home world. Because normally that's like in the middle of everything within reach for all their colony ships. So we're going to go there next once we conquer everything here. Ooh, this is going to be nice and simple. The main catch though is making sure I don't overextend too much so what I ultimately want to do is keep these ships up guarding that wormhole above all else and then use the planets to kind of be the reinforcing planets because I don't want to bring any more ships across the wormhole to kind of defend this area of space because it's just really to keep the fall bar from being a nuisance to be able to dive bomb my I bomb my plant there. That's without without me having any really. Any, damn it! I'm I'm stumbling my words there. You can clearly tell this is the beginning of the recording. Kind of give me some more time. The idea was so I can react as opposed to a wormhole where they're right next to my plant to invade it. And I don't need that. And I keep forgetting about having to switch their behavior in the shipyard. Damn it. That would make things a little more convenient. Not that I really need it here. Nothing really need to look at there besides we conquered that plant. 
and I just gotta wait for my infantry squad to finish up the rest. This will give me a nice size world. I think it was high gravity though, so I will suffer a little bit of penalty. So I'm really going to need to look for a faction that has the high gravity stuff. Oh, and there's the hard shield. Perfect. But before I do that ground invasion, who the hell has heavy gravity tech? Or adaptation? I know someone did. Knowing my luck, well, I already checked the human fleet, so... Knowing my luck then, it's probably the quarter scene. <laughs> Let's talk with the cucks. It's been a while since we even visited them. All they have is plasma torpedoes that I don't. Which I don't think I really need, considering I already got antimatter torpedoes, or photon torpedoes, rather. Ooh, maybe the polyps will. Because I want to keep on good relations with them, right? Yep, they have it. So if I can get that now, it'll solve a lot of my problems. Or issues I'll have assimilating or making use of these plants. But I don't have the tolerance for any tech. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit, actually. So much for that. So let's see, can we conceive this? Yes, we can. So let's make this quick. In fact, I wonder if they are afflicted with the pox as well. Yep, they have the pox, so every single one of the world is actually utilizing it. I may have created a monster here, giving them the Temple of Brutality tech. One of my uh, few failings during this campaign, I'm sure. All the more reason to put them down. And that was no pun. Everything's going to be pretty straightforward because I'm really fond of this firing line. Because, hey, I was a big fan of the Tau Empire for Dawn of War and as well as the actual tabletop game, a little bit I played of it. So, this kind of style, it really comes natural to me, the more firing line oriented style where you just let them come to you and you get the best firing position you can get. Although, I look like I can shoot one of them down. So Smart Link helps a lot with that regard. And he does have a rocket. Who else has a rocket? Okay, I got two rockets. Trying to find the other one. Alright, perfect. I can get two there. That'll soften them quite heavily. And I can finish him up almost next turn. Can I kill him? No, I cannot. Not with this one fighter, at least. So, yeah, I think I want to save it for this one to kind of get that 32 damage in. There we go. And I'm going to have to back him up. Yeah, and because I backed him up, he can't get that extra shot. That stinks. Can I finish him off? What is it, 20 health? No, sadly you could not. Oh, well, we took... Pretty much took half him out, so... This will be over in our turn, too. It is getting pretty repetitive, though, with the troop fighting, though. Since I'm mainly just sitting here, doing the same thing over and over again. Which is kind of why I wish the infantry combat also differed. Kind of like their fleets up in space battles do. Because that would help mix up how I adapt to their fighting methods. Like, especially with the fall for having their pox. If they went completely all in with the melee base there, which I guess is what all the bots are really doing. Having like more meleeers than they actually are fighters with guns, or laser rifles in this case there, they could do a lot of damage. Once they get around the shields anyway. Because I don't have any armor on these units. So they're instantly doing what? 15 damage? So they're doing 30 damage to my, uh, 
my units with no armor if they can get a single attack in. So I don't need to tell you how quickly that's going to kill them. 